hey guys welcome back to another video today in this video i'm going to be showing you how to fix three main problems that people face when they are installing mac os these problems consist of the audio the brightness and the touchpad so if you have any of those problems and you've been looking all around for a fix i think this video is for you because i have tested it on my computer and all of them are working but I can't say that this will work for everybody because everybody's computer is different and all our computers consist of very different hardware from each other. Other than that, I'm sure that this will work for most people because I have tested it and I have tested it in Catalina. So if you have the latest version, you should be all good. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you get info on when I post new videos like this. Alright, let's get into the video. First thing we're going to be fixing is the audio. As you can see at the top right corner, my audio icon is grayed out. That means my audio isn't working and there's no way I can access it. So I'm going to be listing a couple of tools below in the description. Make sure you check the description box and check out those links there that I've provided. You will need them to download the tools we're going to be using to fix the problems in this video. So for our audio, we're going to do something first that we have to do. Most times when we want to install Kegstore, we want to fix issues in our hacking touch systems. We need to disable a gatekeeper function that was introduced into Catalina. This function prevents people from modifying system kegs and we need to be able to mount our system file so that we can access them so that these things can properly work. So open this hacking tool up here and every single time you want to install a keg store, fix a problem, you have to do this. It's a great tool that we can use to do a lot of things but head over to the tools tab and click this house button icon here to ask you to input your password so put in your password and you will see this dialog box asking you to disable the gatekeeper and mount the disk in read and write mode. So hit OK and it's do that for you in the background. Once it's done, you can close it up. And next, what you should do is to open the Voodoo HDA Kext installer package. And what this is going to do is to install the necessary drivers that you will need to get your audio back. So hit continue and hit continue again. Agree. Then click customize. Okay, here we're going to select all of this, but we have to expand all of them to select them individually based on the version of the operating system that you have installed. So click down on the drop down icon and you will see all the different versions there. Select the version of macOS that you have installed. Mine is Catalina. Then you can close it, open the second one, do the same, open the third one and do the same too. When you are all done, hit install. Then input your password, then click install. Install anyway and allow it to complete its install process. When it's done, you can close it up and what you need to do next is to restart your computer. So I have restarted my computer now and as you can see at the top right corner, you can see my volume icon isn't grayed out again and I can access the settings there to increase and reduce my volume. You can see it's working and I can adjust it however I want. I can switch from my headphones as the output to my speaker as the output. I can also access the settings in the sound preference and play around with the settings to set it to the way I want it. When you go back to the main menu of our system preferences, you will see that a new icon has been added there. And here is just basically the control panel of our audio text, which I don't recommend anybody playing around with any settings here if you don't know what you're doing. So that was it for the audio, on to the next one. Now we're going to be fixing the brightness and enabling the brightness slider in our settings. This fix is only for enabling the brightness control in our settings, not fixing the brightness button controls on keyboards. This will just give you the ability to slide across your brightness slider to increase and decrease your brightness. Once again, all the tools you'll be needing will be in the description below. So first, we're going to be unzipping this brightness fix zip folder and you'll see a folder. Double click on the folder and you'll have two files there. One that is a kext and one that is a system patch. What we're going to do next is to open our Clover configurator to mount our EFI. On the left side here, click mount EFI. Then look for the EFI partition that is associated with your Mac OS partition. Mine is this one here, then click on mount. Put in your password and click OK. Next, we have to open our EFI folder that has just been mounted. So open it up and open the EFI folder there. Next, open the global folder, ACPI, and open patched. Next, all we have to do is just to copy this SSDT PNL file into our patched folder. Then we go back into our global folder and open the KEX folder there. Open other and drag in this Apple Backlight Fix Up text into our others folder. So when you've done all this, all you have to simply do is to restart your computer and you should get your brightness back. So we restarted our computer back and to see if our brightness is really working, you have to go into our settings, click on display 
and there you have it the brightness slider is there one final thing if you want to be able to access your brightness settings from your menu bar i recommend you get an application that will allow you to do so easily from your menu bar just search on the app store and look for this brightness slider app then install it when you install it open it and you will notice at the top right corner of your menu bar you will see a brightness icon there if you click it you will have a slider there that you can use to decrease or increase your brightness so it's a great little app for you to access your brightness settings without you having to go into your system settings every single time to change it to make sure that the brightness slider icon is always in your menu bar click on this settings icon here then in here make sure that the launch and login checkbox is checked so there you have it your brightness has been fixed and now on to the next one okay so our last fix is going to be our touchpad settings if your touchpad isn't working and in your system preferences your touchpad settings are missing this will bring it back and make your touchpad work however not everybody will get all the gesture features it really comes down to your hardware so again make sure that you download all the required tools down in the description below and what you are going to do is unzip these tools and driver zip folder after it has finished unzipping it it will unzip a folder called tools and when you open it up you see a group of tools you will need to fix this problem so in there drag the install trackpad folder onto your desktop then open up the folder in the folder you will see a group of files copy the install.sh folder onto your desktop you need to copy it onto your desktop for it to work and next we're going to have to open that hacking tool app that i told you about in the beginning to disable our gatekeeper block so go to the tools tab again click on the house button icon and put in your password click ok and to run the code for you in the background you can close it up now and what you're going to do is open our terminal up you can open it up by hitting command plus space and typing it out in our spotlight so just copy this install.sh file into the terminal and it asks you to put in your password type it in and hit enter allow it to complete its process and when it's done you can close up the terminal next go back into that install trackpad folder and open the rehab man voodoo folder and here we're going to install this kex that will bring back our trackpad to install it we're going to be using kex utility which is also in the description below and you want to open the app the app will take a while for it to process so when it's downloading what you have to simply do is to drag in our voodoo ps2 controller kex into our kex utility app it will ask you to put in your password put it in and hit ok and then it will install the kex for you it will also run some tests for you in the background so just let it do its thing and when it's done you can close it up so now that it's done it will give you a message below showing that it's done and you can close it up and restart your computer now when you start your computer you should notice instantly that your trackpad is working and if you go into your system preferences and click on trackpad you will see your trackpad settings there and you will have access to your gesture settings on some laptops you might gain the access to all the gesture features this fix will work for most people but just know that it won't be everyone that will get all the gesture features but at least the one finger and two finger gestures will work for most people so that was it guys those were the fixes to our audio our brightness and our touchpad some of the most common problems for people when they install mac os on their laptops if this video was helpful make sure you give it a like subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you can get notified when i post new videos Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.